You know, we got to run home and do the laundry. And come on now. Shabbat. Shabbat. Oh, that's right. We're not supposed to. We're Ephraim. We've come back. Amen. We've been instructed. Amen. Jude and Ephraim. No laundry. Shabbat. No cookie. Shabbat. <laughs> you no cook. I no cook. The Jews don't cook and you don't cook. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay. Um... Where are we now? Look at the verse, verse, 21. verse 21. Now, Yahweh says, in those days, when then, I wish Isabel was here today, because I need a little then, when then. Remember Isabel? When then, when, when, when? Then. Then. When? Then. 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 What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> then, when, when Ephraim goes, Jacob, I'm yours. I'm part of Israel. Not just the Jewish people, but non-Jewish believers in Yeshua. We're in this thing with you. We're part of Israel. And now I'm being instructed in Torah. Torah is everlasting. I, I, I learned that word everlasting is everlasting. I can't erase it from my Bible. Yahweh says the Passover is everlasting. Pentecost is everlasting. The, the, the new moon celebrations are everlasting. I can't seem to get that out of my Bible. I've come to my senses. Yahweh said, have you come to your senses? Mark the place. Mark the place. Let's watch this. Read verse 21. Let's read, let's read verse 21. Ephraim is coming home. Yahweh remembers him, takes him out of the nations. He trains, exchanges his golden calves for Torah instruction and was ashamed of what he used to do even as a believer when he was young in the Lord in Yeshua. Now look at verse 21. Set up signposts. Make landmarks. Who's he talking to? Ephraim. Who is Ephraim? Non-Jewish believers in Yeshua. He says, are you really like Jacob? Now set up signposts like Jacob did. Yeah. Don't just sit there and go, which way do I go now? Yahweh says, set up, set up memorials of the revelation of who you are as a child of Jacob. And where you return to Torah and the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. He says, mark it and rush and set up those landmarks. Is anyone getting this? Verse 21. Amen. Set up the signposts. What are signposts are? The way you keep walking. What are landmarks for? To remember how you got how you got to where you needed to be and the sign will take you to the... Amen. Amen. Come on, the landmark is to remember the rung of revelation that brought you to your Israelite heritage as a child of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the covenant, and the, and the sign is the direction for you to keep going in the way you're going. So the landmark is to remember what rung you found out the truth of who you are as a born-again Israelite. But to get to the next rung, you're going to need a sign. A sign to say... One way. Whenever you see a one-way sign on the street, mm. think of Yeshua. Mm, yeah. mm. One way. Yeshua. Hello? Yes. So Ephraim is told to do what Jacob did. Mm. Ephraim is said, look, set up signposts. Make yourself landmarks. Set your heart toward the highway. What does that mean, Ephraim? Jews, I want all the Jews to be quiet. Mm. Even though that's hard. <laughs> Don't talk. All the Jews don't talk. Yeah. Verse 20. Is it right? Uh, verse 21. The, the highway, the way in which you went, you left Israel. Meaning, listen, when Ephraim left the land of Israel, listen, listen, don't miss this now. Listen, don't miss this. They set up signposts, mm -hmm. pillars, stone pillars. Yeah. They used to sleep on them suckers. But when they found out who they were, and they found out that even while they were going, they were going to come back one day. Mm -hmm. well, they, they needed to mark the highway. What highway do I go home? Yeah. In those days, there were no planes or Muslim hijackers. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. So they had to mark the way they went because one day, when they identified with Jacob's hip removed as returning Israel, instructed in the eternal precepts of Torah, they would need to find that road that took them away from the land to bring them back. Yahweh says, mark that road. Set up landmarks. Set up signs. 
To this day, they're still there. Do you know that? Do you know the legend has it, and it's not legend, it's history. When Jeremiah went to Ireland, the British Islands, to look for the tribe of Dan and Simeon and some of the other lost Ephraimites, he was looking for these pillars, these signposts, and he found them. And it led him right into Europe and Western Europe. Amen. They're there to this day. Yes. They are there to this day. Amen. All an archaeologist has to do is follow those signposts that yeah. Jacob made, that Ephraim yeah. went on when he was on, on his way to yeah. his highway to exile. Turn around, find out who he is. Why would you want to go back if you don't know who you are? Right. Find out that you are an Israelite from the lost sheep of the house. Of, Israel. of course, you didn't know your name from Israelite. That's why it means lost, spiritual and physical. Mm -hmm. Find those landmarks and return to Israel. Is anyone with me? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm not going to finish this today. It's not going to happen. Because, brothers and sisters, those are anointed places. Why did Jacob, our father, take this stone, this hard circumstance, hard life, difficult place, thought a very, very rough place, where he would meet Yeshua at the top of Yeshua's ladder, take that stone, turn it into a memorial, a signpost. Why did he pour oil on it? Why did he pour oil on it? Go back. No, I'm sorry, stay there. Stay right where you are. Look at verse 21. Now, he says, set up the landmarks, set up the high with a signpost. Why? On the way which you went out, Israel, because you're coming back. Look, turn back physically, O maiden of Israel. Turn back to these cities of yours. But why did Jacob anoint him with oil? We close with this. It's going to be a part three. <laughs> it's going to be a part three. Baruch Hashem How to receive and inherit divine revelation. Genesis 28. Bereshus 28. And Yaakov rose early in the morning, took the stone he had put in his head. So yesterday's trials are today's memorial vic columns for victory. Put it on a standing column. They call them a dolmen in modern vernacular. Yeah. It's called a dolmen. To this day in Israel, there are columns and a stone on top of the column. They're called dolmen. He put the, the, the stone on top of the standing column, poured oil on it. Why? What is the Hebrew word for oil? <laughs> what is the Hebrew word for oil? Meshichi. Sound familiar? Mashiach. Meshichi, Shemen Meshichi, the oil of anointing, the delivering oil, the messianic oil. The people of Israel and returning Ephraim are instructed to take messianic oil <laughs> and anoint and build yourself a column. So the next time you feel like abandoning your faith and going back to your former religious system and don't believe you're an Israelite and don't think Torah is eternal and the devil tries to steal who you are in Yeshua as a child of Yahweh, anoint that chair and say, you know something? It was this chair that I got the revelation. It was in that fat rabbi synagogue. I'm going to anoint this thing. I'm going to take that check and put it on my wall. Hello? I'm going to take that place and mark it. Is anyone with me? Amen. What, is, what is anointing oil? Shemen Mishichi. It is the anointing oil of the Messiah that helps you climb Yeshua's ladder so he is both the goal and the, the fuel that drives you to the goal. It is he. Philippians 2.12 says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. For Yahweh works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. So he is the author and finisher of our faith. Yes. He is the goal for which we strive one rung at a time. But when we're low on fuel, and we feel like we don't, we don't want to climb anymore. Yahweh says, go find that memorial. You haven't been setting up memorials in your life? Start doing that. Because the tough times are going to come again. 
Right. And when he hears you were lamenting and turning back mm -hmm. and being instructed again in Torah to come back to the truth, yep. what's he going to say? Do you have anything to help you? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about rosary beads. I'm not talking about religious symbols, religious icons. Israelites do this stuff. He told the friar, build these things. You're going to need them when you come back. Mm -hmm. Not if you come back. When? when. Brothers and sisters, the, tr the stony pillars of life are there, but so are the anointed altars. The stone of oil is also there, yeah. and that's when you gaze upon that stone, and that oil of anointing, that messianic oil on that messianic stone of deliverance, what is a messianic stone? I lay in Zion a stone, a chief stone, a cornerstone. Amen. Yeah. And so all these little stones that you are, and memorials that you are to build as Israel, are reminders of the cornerstone. Amen. Who delivered you before. Come on. No problem to do it again. Yeah. Father, we thank you and we oh, praise you, Abba. Oh. Father, we thank you and we praise you, Abba. That we as Yisrael, that we as Yisrael are commanded, Father, to remember the deliverance of yesterday, to inherit the rung of tomorrow. And so, Father, I thank you and I praise you this day, Abba, that you have instructed us in your word, that you have instructed us in your Torah, that it is the goodness of Yahweh that has led us to this place. And Father, how we have voluntarily smote ourselves on our thigh in our return to Zion's instructions and our identity with our Father, Jacob. Then if you have that CD, please. Just music in the background. Spirit of wind. Oh, to that above, you know. I want everyone standing, please. I want everyone standing, please. To that above, you know, Father, we commit this word to you this day. And Abba, your word will never return void. It will accomplish what you please. And prosper where you send it. And Father, that as you raise up your nation, the two houses of Israel, in these last days, Abba Shabbat Shemayim, may we learn to mark the spot of victory as we embrace the next opportunity to put a stone pillow and a stone mattress under us, without desiring to leave that place, but to wait for the revelation and the deliverance. In Yahshua's mighty name, the Kodakihila Imuru, Amen, Ve, Amen. Shabbat Shalom, we love you.